Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 4.8, Problem 4. This is Section 4.8, Problem 4. It says Cindy bought a new computer. She paid $80 in sales tax. If the sales tax rate is 5%, how much did she pay for the computer? So we know the tax is $80, but so what, was, what did the computer cost? Well, what I like to do with any type of problem with percents is see if I can write the problem in the form A is P percent of B. And if I can write it in that form, that means I can use this formula that I like, which is A over B equals P over 100. And I can write it in this form. So the $80 is 5% of some bigger number of the total price of the computer. So the A is the 80 is the P is 5% of, and the B is the unknown number. So it will stay as a variable, as B. So I do have A is P percent of B. I have 80 is 5% of B. So as I start filling in the formula that I like, 80 is the A. The is becomes the equal sign. The P is 5. Oops. 5. The percent becomes the 100. And then the B in the denominator is the unknown. It just stays as B. So now I have an equation, one unknown value, so I can solve for the unknown, and we'll do that by cross multiplying, and we divide. So 5 times B will be 5B equals 80 times 100. So this multiplication 80 times 100 is actually very easy. The numbers look very big, but even without a calculator, the non-zero values are really just 8 and 1. So if I look at those, pretend you can't see the other zeros and just multiply 8 times 1. Well, 8 times 1 is 8. That's an easy multiplication. How many zeros did I ignore? 3. So now I'll put them back. 8 with 3 zeros after it is 8,000. And if you check it on a calculator, it will sure enough be 8,000. But if you know the trick with the zeros, that's even easier. So now that's not the answer. That's what 5b is equal to. I want to know what b is. So to find b, you divide out the 5. So b is 8,000 over 5. Now, if your math teacher will allow you to use a calculator, you just enter the numerator of your fraction on the calculator screen first, press the division button, enter the denominator, hit equals, and the calculator will give you the answer right away. Now, if your math teacher doesn't let you use a calculator, just do it out the long way. It's, it's not that bad. So I have 8,000. How many times does 5 divide into it? Well, 5 divides into 8 only once. 1 times 5 is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Then you bring down the next digit, which is a 0. And now 5 goes into 30 exactly 6 times. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. So the other zeros are just going to give me a 0 if I bring down the next 0. 5 would go into 0, 0 times. 5 times 0 is 0. You don't really have to finish it to the end, but you can get two more zeros. So the answer is 1,600. B is 1,600. So what does that mean? That means that if Cindy paid $80 in sales tax and the tax rate is 5%, then the computer she bought costs $1,600.